Hey, Laburn and Day here with another NHL commentary. Back after a bit of a hiatus for these NHL videos. So anyway, I'm doing something a little special as this was a request. It's a Swedish game. And I'm not going to bother to pronounce the name. Instead, I'm going to let Gary Thorne do it. So anyway, Gary, take it away. Between Dersch Gardens, IF and AIKIF. Hey, thanks, Gary. <laughs> uh, anyway, at the start of this video, uh, I'm going to talk about a few things in this video. But at the start of this video, I said I took a bit of a hiatus from the NHL videos. And obviously, for those people who found my channel because of the NHL 11 videos, they've noticed this as well is that I haven't done as many and uh, I just want to give you my reasons why I haven't done as many uh, basically for the most part I don't play NHL all the time I, I know there's people out there who do there's people out there who play Madden all the time and that's all they really play and there's people who play Call of Duty all the time and I'm more of a an all-around gamer I don't just play sports games I don't just play Call of Duty although lately all you see on my channel is Call of Duty videos with uh, I think I had bad company to Vietnam on there for one video but for the most part my videos have been Call of Duty but I don't just play that all the time I play Battlefield I play I'm playing Dead Nation which I said I'm gonna put a video up for and I will I play uh, right now on the Xbox I'm playing Need for Speed Hot Pursuit so I mean I play a variety of different games and that's what I want to really do for my channel for this YouTube channel is to have a variety of games yeah, but the one reason why I do the Black Ops commentaries as well is that they tend to be short matches. You know, obviously I'm going to be putting up matches that I did well in. And generally if you do well in the game, you're going to have no shorter games. You're going to, you're going to really own the other team, you know. So that's one reason. One, they're shorter. And, uh, and another reason too is that I find with Black Ops, I have more to talk about. Because, let's face it, you know, hockey, we're all hockey fans. Well, I'm, a, I'm a big hockey fan, but it's hockey. I mean, what can you really talk about, you know? I mean, yes, you can have a few cool-looking goals, but at the end of the day, there's really nothing to it. Where on Black Ops, in most cases, you know, you can have these awesome kill streaks and, and uh, sweet-looking shots and things like that. And that's why I, I do them, because... You know, it's easy to easy to do a commentary for it. It's easy to find t for something to talk about. You know, uh, with Black Ops and again for Battlefield. Although it's a again with Battlefield, the problem with that is that they're longer as well, uh, and uh, because of that, you know, the gameplay aspect of it can be kind kind of boring. Because and. I mean, unless I cut everything out, but then you're kind of losing that the experience of Battlefield. But there's there's times where you know you're gonna have not a lot of gun gunplay in it, and so and again with NHL, it, it's it's hard to really talk about that. And that's why I said earlier on in my my previous videos, I should say, is that why I plan to get NHL 12 for the PS3 next year instead of Xbox, which since this next-gen hockey from NHL 07 onward, where I've always got a free Xbox. And again, that reason is because I want to play against real people. And I'm hoping, anyway, at least this is my goal, is that by playing against real people, I'll get more unique experiences where I can talk about something that was funny that happened in it. Either something that he did that was stupid or, or something that I did that was stupid. When you're playing against the computer, no matter what difficulty you put it on, and by the way, this is all-star difficulty. Uh, regardless of what difficulty you put it on, eventually you'll, you'll learn the CPU. If you're halfway decent at, at any game at all, you're going to learn the game. And you're going to learn how to... You're going to learn the CPUs, the, uh, you know, the AI's shortcomings. And that's the problem with the NHL series as well. Although, it's a lot better than it used to be back in the old days of NHL 95 where you can score like a, a gajillion goals and uh, stuff like that and that's why I'm hoping with playing against a real opponent I'll have these more unique experiences where I can I can talk about the gameplay because it'd be fresh in my mind if I do if I, I, I play a really good game it'd be fresh in my mind and that's why for these NHL videos I real I do mostly requests or, or not mostly I think they're all requests from the start 
that's how I start to do this was because some guy wanted to do a wanted to see the blades or the pat sorry and uh, and that's why I did that video and I, I'm surprised that you know a lot of people want to see them and see more so I did more uh, but at the end of the day and I think I mentioned this in my uh, response to Hutch where he was talking about and by the way Hutch is the the head guy, or one of the head guys of Machinima, the, the uh, channel where they showcase all kinds of directors for games and stuff like that. It's primarily, right now, it's Call of Duty, but they do other stuff. They have sports, Machinima sports, and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, going off track there, what he was talking about in, in his video, which mine, mine was a response to, was that he found that the YouTube community was going from a... a more of a, like, well, a lot of people started these videos, uh, commentary, gameplay commentaries, because they enjoyed doing it. Now it's come to a point where, because, you know, they have these director programs and stuff, where they're, they're doing it for the money. They're putting pumping out videos all the time, even if it means pumping out a game that they don't like, just so they can hit the, the latest bandwagon and earn money off of those videos, where... Now, I'm not making any money off of this, and I'm not doing it because I want to make money off of this. I'm doing this because I like to do this. And uh, so, but, and like I said in that video, in that response video, is that I don't like Medal of Honor. So you're not going to see me do Medal of Honor just because at the time, anyway, that was the big thing. You know, Medal of Honor. People want to see Medal of Honor. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to buy a game I don't like, you know. And at the end of the day, when it comes to this YouTube channel of mine, and it is mine, I'm going to do stuff that I want to do. And NHL videos are one of the things I like to do. But it's not the only thing I want to do. And right now I'm doing Black Ops, and then I also want, I have other videos. I, I record all the time, so I have other things I could do. But I find with Black Ops, especially Black Ops, is it, like I said before, it gives you more material to work with. When it comes to commentaries and stuff like that, so that uh, so you know to basically summarize it, that's why I've been on kind of a hiatus from the NHL series because I just find it it's easier to to it's just more fun to do commentaries. I guess what I'm trying to say for Black Ops and and uh, other games that I plan on doing. Uh, now going back to hockey after after going through all that, uh, I don't have a lot of time, so I got to hurry up. Uh, Buyak85 and his brother and I were going to go to see the Ottawa Senators. Now, I'm not obviously a Malice fan, not an Ottawa Senators fan, but I'll go see a game if it's free. Uh, we're going to see the Islanders, them play the Islanders on the 15th of February. And then the big part of this, the reason why I'm going to, is that on April 2nd, we're going to go see the Toronto Maple Leafs play. And this is going to be the first time where I've actually, as a Leafs fan, got to see the Toronto Maple Leafs play in real life. So it's going to be something kind of cool. Hopefully they don't let me down. And the way the Leafs have been playing, they probably will. But I'm hoping that they'll win. And uh, so that's something that's kind of cool re relating to hockey uh, that's happening recently. Obviously my Leafs. And I think that's another reason too, while I'm not into the NHL videos as much now, is that my Leafs aren't doing that great. So I don't really have that drive to continue playing the game and, and tinkering with the rosters and stuff like that. Plus, I played the game to death. I mean, I uh, I finally, uh, not finally, I've done it for a while now, the legendary GM trophy, or achievement. I got that, uh, where I had to play, I think I must have played about friggin' 10 years worth of, of seasons and be in GM mode uh, to get that. And uh, so I played it to death. I always play the games to death. And then, uh, you know, I go on to other games, because I'm an all-around gamer. I play... Uh, I play, you know, NHL, I play Battlefield, Call of Duty, uh, I'm on the Dead Nation, which is a PSN arcade title, and I'm going to be showing some of that, too. And uh, other type of games, Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit on the Xbox, I'll make sure that as well. Uh, that will be pretty funny, because I'm a terrible driver in these games, so, I mean, that could be some, uh, has some comedic value to that. Uh... So I'm going to put a lot of those videos up there. But like I said, I'm an all-around gamer. And so that's what I want my channel to be, is an all-around gamer. So I am going to continue doing these requests. So, I mean, if you do have requests, definitely post some. But just don't expect to be all that. 
So anyway, until next time, this is LeBurn98 signing off. See you guys. On behalf of EA Sports, au revoir.